Hello and welcome back. In the last video we started on the electrics for my summer car and I've since finished them off so the car is now electrically wired up but we did have problems with the cam timing and the valves were ticking in the last video so in this video we're just going to continue by um, taking off the valve cover, we're going to adjust the valves, uh, we're going to adjust the cam timing as well so we'll do the cam timing first and then we'll attack the valve noise issue so uh, in order to get started, we'll start by obviously taking off the valve cover and uh, So yeah, we're left with the valves themselves as you can see there the tappets Then we'll move to the front of the engine and start by taking off the fan belts all the ancillaries so the, um, Water pump pulley the crankshaft pulley the timing cover the water pump itself um, So that we can adjust the cam timing so just removing the fan belt here by loosening the tension on the alternator and uh, removing the belt as you can see the water pump pulley also needs to come off as so like so and also of course the water pump now doing this is going to drain all your coolant so just be aware of that um, so there goes the water pump itself so all these parts can wear as well but uh, yeah anyway and here comes the timing cover so just loosening all the bolts on that but of course before you can remove that you do need to remove the crankshaft pulley um, so I need to obviously do that as well so just bear with me one moment nice big bolt on the crankshaft pulley this is normally quite a bear to remove in real life okay so there goes crankshaft pulley now the timing cover uh, there might be a few bolts on here still I think that uh, need to be loosened there we go there's just one more and there goes the timing cover okay so now we've got access to the timing chain and the uh, and basically you can see here the camshaft pulley uh, or, or gear we need to turn it so that that timing mark I'm not sure if you can see that is lined up with the crankshaft pulley mark see that there's two marks there so that's looking pretty dead on to me so it was slightly off and that's why uh, the engine was uh, thumping and making some pretty bad knocking sounds in our previous video so now that uh, the cam tummy is, is uh, aligned up we can put the chain back on and uh, here I've just put the front of the engine back together the water pump the um, timing cover the crankshaft pulley just make sure all these bolts are nice and tight otherwise you could have fluid leakage issues which you definitely don't want make sure all your bolts are tight definitely and you can see there there's a loose bolt but I'll sort that one out okay so just putting the crankshaft pulley back in and the fan belt so I'll just pause here um, I'll show you a little bit more just mount this fan belt the way I like to tension it um, and I may have gone over this already in the past but basically just for the sake of showing you while I'm here again fully tension the fan belt so tension the alternator and then just bring it in two clicks okay you don't want the fan belt to be too tight nor too loose okay so now with the tension set we're just going to tighten the alternator and I've just put some fresh coolant back into the vehicle tightening up the radiator cap and let's just make sure that it's uh, it's got enough oil. Yep, so no oil has been lost as part of that process. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and see if we can start it up now. Let's see what it sounds like. You'll see that I've got all the dash gauges all wired up. Air fuel mixture's working. Okay, so you can hear the valves are ticking, but we don't have any more thumps and thuds anymore. So cam timing's good. Ooh, okay. Uh, oil pressure is a bit of a worry. It's dropping. Mm, I can see some smoke coming from the engine as well. Now, normally it shouldn't be an issue to run the engine for a short period without the valve cover on, the rocker cover. Um, okay, well, let's quickly see if we can adjust these valves anyway. So, I'll start with the exhaust valve here at the front of the engine. Just gonna turn this screw it's a little bit of an art again there are guides on the internet that in depth kind of explain how to adjust the valves I'm just 
You should warm the engine up fully as well. Just gonna see. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay. Um, got lucky that time. Okay, so valves are nicely adjusted now. Again, this video is not meant to be comprehensive. Okay. Um, turn the engine off before it seizes because our oil pressure. We seem to have an oil pressure issue. So let's just see what's going on here. Normally, um, if there's smoke coming from the engine and you've got a drop in oil pressure, it does mean that uh, your head gasket could be on its way out. So, just going to put some oil back into the engine here. Don't need the valve cover for this because basically, I mean, this would be quite a messy job in real life to do without the rocker cover, but anyway. Okay, so now I've got a nicely purring engine, no valve um, valve tick, no thumps, thuds, but just looking at this oil pressure again, it does appear to be dropping, so yeah, we definitely have a problem here, and again, um, smoke coming from the engine, yeah, these are hallmarks of basically a head gasket that's on its way out, yeah. So that's a bit of a shame. I was really hoping that once uh, once I fixed up the cam timing and the and the adjusted the valves that uh, she'd be ready, but obviously not. Let's just turn it off again before we lose all our oil. Just push the truck in. Okay, so um, I'll leave it there for this video anyway. Uh, just wanted to make this a really quick sort of update on on the car itself. So um, you know. Before I go, what I might do is, I did buy some paint, so let's go ahead and just spruce up uh, some parts of the engine here. We'll start with the uh, air filter cover, and then we'll also paint the uh, rocker cover as well. So I think I'll go a nice blue for the uh, air filter cover. Nice, that's looking good. Now I'm not sure if this is going to help us pass inspection, but it definitely helps the car look nicer, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, I'll go a nice red for the rocket cover, the valve cover. What have you. Okay, so I'm not going to bolt any of this in, just going to place it on the engine, for now. Um, in the next video, we're going to have to pull all this apart again anyway, um, to get to the head gasket. Put the head gasket in the van, take it down to Fleetari. Um, and basically uh, purchase a new head gasket, put it back in the engine um, and then hopefully we'll have a, a mostly running vehicle so yeah at this point in time it's looking good uh, we don't have any leakages, um, we've just got a possible head gasket issue that's all I hope it is, and I hope it's nothing more than that um, but yeah electrics are good, lights are working all the gauges are working at least as well so I did go behind the dash and it was a bit of a nightmare, but lights are working. Um, all the switches working as well, radio works. Um, yeah, got to mount the fire extinguisher too. Um, even the interior light works. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll attack the head gasket in the next video and we should have a running car. So again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.